Now the topic is relativity of simultaneity. Here you are again considering two frames of reference, S and S dash. Where S frame of reference is at is at state of rest, while S dash frame of reference is moving with a velocity uniform velocity v. According to that, S frame of reference has an origin at O, while S dash frame of reference has an origin has an origin at O dash. So the space coordinates for S frame of reference are x, y, and z, while the space coordinates for S dash frame of reference are x dash, y dash, and z dash. So these this is the situation we are considering. Now let's we consider the relativity of simultaneity. Uh, two events, we consider two events, they are occurring at the same time. And we consider these two events are occurring in S frame of reference. When they are occurring in S frame of reference, we mark the position of these two events. If we consider it uh, towards consider this x1 and x2. These are the two positions at which these two events are taking place. And these two events are taking place at time x1 is the position of first event which is taking place at time t1 and x2 is the position of the second event which is taking place at time t2. So this is the situation. Now we will apply the Lorentz transformation equation. Now, according to the Lorentz transformation equation, we will measure these two events or we will observe these two events from another frame of reference. So, the another frame of reference, this S dash is the another frame of reference which is in relative motion with respect to S frame of reference, which is at the state of rest. So, the time measured by S dash frame of reference. Now we are considering that the observer is sitting here in S dash frame of reference. So the time is will be equal to T1 dash and T2 dash. T1 dash is the time measured from S dash frame of reference for this event, first event, which is positioned at X1. While x32 dash is the time we are taking, observing from s dash frame of reference in order to observe the event, second event, which is positioned at x2 in s frame of reference. So now we will apply the relation, the relation of uh, um, occurrence of time at the same event we observed by the s dash frame of reference. K, K is again. Now here, K is the same. K we were using that K that was 1 divided by under root 1 minus B square over C square. So the K here is, uh, you can say it uh, as a, a shape constant or a wave constant. Here we consider as we say that in this theory, we have been considering that the space and time coordinates are not constant they change with respect to time they with change with respect to different frames of inertia frames of reference so here k is that wave vector when we consider change it means a variable change and variable change the best example of the variable change is a sinusoidal change as you know in the sinusoidal change the angle change with respect to time or you can say the direction of the current change with respect to time when we consider for the electromagnetic wave. So here it is similar to that. Now my, we will write the equation for uh, the time measurement that the occurrence of these events, the occurrence of uh, event number one which is positioned as x1 it is equal to 
C1 minus as we are observing here we are observing uh, the uh, event is occurring at the S frame of reference and from another frame of reference we are observing so the velocity will be taken as negative x1 the position similar is this similarly we will take the time for second event as equal to c2 minus vx2 divided by c square according to the special relativity axiom number 2 the speed of light is a constant quantity so it remains constant and the velocity v is considered that the uniform velocity in uh, by which this s dash frame of reference is moving so we are considering that s frame of reference now we will put the value of k as we have determined it earlier that k is equivalent to 1 divided by under root 1 minus v square over c square now the equations time occurrence equations will be c1 dash is equal to c1 minus v x1 divided by c square divided by under root 1 minus v square over c square similarly the time of occurrence of the second event observed from the s dash frame of reference is equal to 2 minus vx2 divided by 1 minus v square over c square. So these are the two equations representing the time of occurrence of the two events observed from S dash frame of reference. Now, if we rearrange these equations, first of all, what we will do, we will subtract equation 1 from 2. Subtracting equation number 1 from 2, we get the form C2 dash minus C1 dash is equal to 1 minus v square over c square is the same. So, c2 minus vx2 minus c1 plus vx over c square. Uh, as the minus sign was outside, so it has changed that it into subtract uh, minus sign has been changed into uh, positive sign both these are cancelled now what we are left with c2 dash minus c1 dash is equal to c1 c2 minus c1 divided by 1 minus v square over c This is the relation we get if the event occurs simultaneously when observed from S dash frame of reference, it is equal to T2 dash minus C1 dash. And when the event is occurring simultaneously at S frame of reference, and we will, when we will measure that event, then the time of occurrence uh, of that two frames, uh, two events will be equal to T2 minus C1. So, this is this portion belongs to observation uh, for the S frame of reference, and this portion belongs to the observation observed from S dash frame of reference. Now, by uh, 
uh, while uh, if the event occurs simultaneously uh, so we can relate that if we consider that if the uh, if the observer in s dash will not see them occurring simultaneously unless both have the same position means that both the events that are occurring should be present at the same spot for that case we will consider that in that case some people are uh, we will consider that t1 dash is equal to k t1 minus v x1 over t square and the two relations which we were using earlier t2 minus vx2 divided by c2 now the problem is that if the observer in s dash has to observe these two events and it has to observe that these two events are occurring simultaneously if they are occurring simultaneously they cannot occur simultaneously unless and until both are occurring at the same spot means the position of the two events are the same that is x1 should be equal to x2 for the simultaneity of for observation for the observer which is present in s dash frame of reference it is required that the two events should occur at the same spot or at the same position so x1 should be equal to x2 for that case it is required we will put that in the situation uh, we will consider the uh, relation like that uh, rearranging that relation T two dash minus T one dash K T two minus T one. This is the relation. It only occurs when S one X one is equal to X two. the relation we derived earlier when we cancelled out v x1 over c square when v x2 over c square it can be cancelled only if x1 and x2 both are equal means that the event is occurring at the same spot otherwise the relation will be equal to it would be written as T two dash minus T one dash equal to K T two minus T one and along with it minus writing over here V over C square common X two minus X one. So this is the relation. this is the relation if we are considering the two events are taking place but at different position x1 and x2 but in order to see the event occurring simultaneously this x1 x2 and x1 should be equal to both should be equal when these two events are equal then the relation will will be reduced to this that t2 dash minus t1 dash is equal to k uh, into t2 minus t1 so this was about the relativity of simultaneity